guys, Diana here, coming in today to show you how to make this gift card holder. Uh, I've done this one as a birthday theme, as you can see, but I'm going to show you how, when I, we do the uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you a Christmas version. But this is what it is. See how that popped up, the, the, the gift card? How cute is that? I'm going to show you how to put one of those together. Alright, what you're going to need for that is a few pieces. A piece of cardstock that measures 9 and 3 eighths by 5. So you're going to need to do some scoring with long side to the top. You're going to score it at two and seven eighths and seven and one sixteenth. You're going to turn it so the short side to the top and score it at half an inch on both ends. So it's um by five, so it'd be four and a half. On that end okay or you could turn it around and score you know on the half inch side again um, so that's it for that uh, actually I'll leave the scoreboard here we've got one more piece that we need to score so we're going to cut another piece of cardstock and this is going to measure four by four and seven eighths by three and five eight you're gonna put the long side to the top and you're going to score at half an inch and three and a half. Okay, that's it for the scoring. Bringing back your long piece. Now on here, you see my score line. Oh, it's blurry. On here, you've got a, a shorter piece and a longer, like a fatter piece and not so fat. The not so fat side is the top, the, this one is the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave the bottom section here, this, this little section, you're going to leave that but you're going to cut off these two top ones on both the, both the sides, okay? I'm just going to grab my um, ginormous Tim Holtz scissors because they're easier to cut with. Now what am I cutting? I don't want to cut off the wrong thing. We're leaving that and we're cutting this off. Okay. Let me just zoom out a little. I think I'm a, a bit close there. Okay, so you've got something that looks like this and you're left with the fatter end with the sides left on, okay? Alright, now you can score, uh, fold on your score line. You're going to add some tape or glue on these flaps. Just fold them over like this and then just add some glue or tape. Ugh, stuck my finger out. And fold it over. Okay, 
Now you can put now if you have a, a decorative punch, you can punch the top of that like I did on this one. You can see that I've got a, a decorative border on the flap, which is which is I think I'm gonna do that again. I'll edit this part out so you don't have to watch me punch, but just punching. So there you have your border, your punch border on your flap. It gives you a pretty a pretty border. Right, and then we're gonna move this aside now and work with the other little piece that we scored and fold that on its score lines. Now bring your bigger one back in and what you're going to do here is this this short end is going to slide up oh down rather not up down inside there like like that and you're going to glue put glue on this section here so let me just glue that And we're going to bring this right up so that it sits just under that border that we that we uh, punched. And I'm just going to center it as roughly as I can so it's even on both sides there. I don't know if that's even. Good. Perhaps. Like that. I'm going to stick it down. And that's what makes the mechanism. See how that moves? And you would put your gift card in there like this. And when it closes, it goes down. When you open it, it comes up. Yay! Isn't that cute? Alright, now I'm going to show you how I decorated it. Or embellished it, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need another piece of cardstock. And this is for this section here. That's going to measure three and three quarters by two and five eighths. A piece of DSP for that is going to be three and five eighths by two and a half. And you're going to need a piece for the um, for the flap. Uh, for the top here that's going to be one and one eighth by three and three eighths and then a DSP piece that goes on that one inch by three and a quarter and then you're going to need a piece for the front and that is going to measure three and three quarters by two and the DSP will be three and five eighths by one and seven eighths. Okay, so you're just going to simply layer all those layers together, and I'll catch you back up when I've done mine. We're simply just going to layer those pieces on those sections and then we're almost done. And then a, a ribbon for the front, and I'm just going to use a white. The ribbon holds the flap closed a little better, but you don't, I mean, you can use a Velcro or magnets if you wanted to. Uh, I think a ribbon works just as well, and if you're making it for a male, you could just use a piece of hessian, a piece of, um, um, like, uh, what's the... Uh, like raffia kind of stuff instead of a ribbon I didn't really 
really give myself too much. Okay, and then I've got a sentiment for the front, and I'll just use a, a Spellbinders die. I've got some glue stuck to my finger. The Spellbinders die for the outside, and a cream layering circle from the Layering Circles Framelits dies. And then I've also used a stamp, which is just random, that I had in my stash. Okay, and then just going to add that to the front like that there we go done how cute is that so thanks so much for joining me today guys and uh, if you have any questions please let me know and I will talk to you all again soon please leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video thank you bye